Our debt is larger than our economy by more than 20 percent. If we do nothing, we will pay more in interest in the next 10 years than we paid in the last 83. If we do nothing and you follow along, and God forbid you get a Biden default because he ignores the problem just as ignored the border, said Mr. President, could we start our meeting? For 104 days, he said no. Inaction and intransigence will not wipe away $32 trillion in debt. Good grief, Mr. President. When is enough enough? Shame on anyone, on anyone who refuses to act. Speaker McCarthy and this entire team have been responsible, reasonable, and sensible. Time is short, Mr. President. Let's get this done. The truth is the dream is out of reach for too many Americans. And the biggest obstacle is the very government entrusted to protect it. So we gather here today on a bicameral basis to send a message to the president. This legislation is purposeful, not political. We stand for the hardworking American family unable to afford groceries, gas, housing, or health care because of inflation fueled by trillions of dollars in reckless spending. Uh, we have an obligation to the people that we represent. We have an obligation to, uh, to ourselves as legislator, responsive legislators, to do the right thing. And the right thing was to get into the room, and as Dusty said, you can't go back and find those 97 days again. But it's time now for the president to get serious, to have, have fiscal responsibility, fiscal sanity. And I can tell you, I know it's hard to rein in the cats on the House side. It's really hard to rein in the Republican cats on the Senate side. And we are united behind our House colleagues.